are the true seeker. Command me, Confessor. Tell me why you attacked us. We have standing orders to kill the Seeker. Maybe I've gotten word the war's over. Yes. But there's a rumor among the Apostle Corps that the Seeker is of the Raal bloodline, that he's next in line for the throne. Then the Daharan should serve him, not try to kill him. My commanding officer, General Grix, wants to claim the throne for himself. He's trying to eliminate anyone that would challenge him. Not only the Seeker, but rival generals in the Daharan army as well. Only a Lord Rahl can rule the Empire, not some common foot soldier. This General Grix doesn't sound very interested in the royal lines of succession. Where can we find him? He may command a legion, but Bane is a man like any other. He'll be more open to compromise once he's lost someone close to his heart. Order the Quad to deploy the first weapon in the General's home village. Norwood. General Grix, you have a visitor. I have a message for you, sir. I'm listening. You'll have to read it for yourself. What does it say, sir? It's an invitation. General Grix isn't here. Where is he? No one seems to know. He and his guards left on horseback a day ago. They rode northeast. We'll track him. Confessor, there's something else. A quad left the camp on a raid this morning. They were armed with a cache of whispers. Whispers? Magical weapons. They kill by releasing the captured screams of shadow people. Sounds so deadly they can wipe out every living creature within a league. Where is Grix getting these weapons? I wish I knew, Confessor. I do know that Grix wants to use them to wipe out the home villages of his rivals. To scare them into submission. You and Zed track the quad. Intercept them before they can set off any of these whispers. We'll go after the general. Find out where he's been getting these things. We'll meet up in the glade east of Carthrin Lake. Could have killed you, Confessor. Caleb, there's one missing. Confessor, command me. Where's the other whisperer? We hid it in Norwood, under the East Bridge. When will it detonate? Answer me! When the sun reaches its highest point in the sky. I'm so sorry. You have less than an hour. Guard the crate. 
If you had assumed the throne of Tahara months ago, the army would be helping you in your quest instead of trying to kill you. If I'd claimed the throne, I wouldn't be on a quest to find the Stone of Tears. I'd be too busy killing and scheming to keep control of my empire. Sometimes ruthlessness is required of a leader. Fear is the only thing that has ever united Tahara. I'd never try to get people to follow me by killing and terrorizing them. Your sentiments are noble, but impractical. A true leader takes power. He doesn't ask his subjects for permission first. That was Dark and Rawl's way. Not mine. Now let's go find Grix. We're too late. Dakirum! Gunai! Devisal! a deafness spell. So we couldn't hear the sound of the whisperer. Which is the only reason we're still alive. What about the villagers? They're fine. They spelled every living creature from here to the horizon. Even the field mice were protected. Well, I'm sure the field mice are very grateful. Now let's get those whisperers and get back to Richard. A general trying to conquer all of Dahara makes a detour to visit a brothel. Should I pretend to be surprised? Welcome to the palace of Athenia. What is your pleasure? Tonight, it seems the pleasure is all mine. Dana? It's good to see you again, Seeker. I heard a rumor you were traveling with a moored Sith. Thank you, Bella. I'll look after our guests. Yes, Madame Denna. Madame Denna, the right hand of Dark and Raw, reduced to peddling flesh. Times are difficult. Amortzif has to make a living now that the war is over. I'm simply taking what I've learned and putting it to good use. <laughs> Pleasure, after all, is the inverse of pain. Knowledge of one makes mastery of the other so much easier. You of all people should know that, Kara. The place of a moored Sith is at the side of Lord Ra. So, the rumors are true. We're looking for a Daharn general named Grix. Do you know him? I find it's good business to be friendly with the local commanders. You provide them with whores, and in exchange they leave you alone. Many of my clients would enjoy your acerbic tongue. You could do very well here. What's your interest in the general? He's gotten hold of a supply of whispers. He's planning to use them against other Daharan officers. Destroy the villages. If we don't find Grix, he could wipe out half your clientele. If you know where he is, you'd better tell me. He left. When you find him, and I'm certain you will, Remind him he still owes me for the damage he caused. The general and his men drank too much and destroyed one of my finest sweets. Pass that along. As pleasant as this has been, I have other guests to attend to. But I hope you will both indulge yourselves while you're here. Compliments of the house, of course. It's the least I can do for old friends. Selling these weapons to the Daharans. I had no choice, madam. I needed to sell whisperers to raise funds to complete my work for you. This potion isn't easy to come by, and it's not cheap. A single vial is worth more than any jewel in the caves of Corridon. You fool. You brought the Seeker here. I thought you wanted the Seeker to come here. I did. But not yet. I still haven't completed the General's training. Oh. Oh. 
I know Dana. She's involved with Griggs in some way. I'm going to take a look around. Find Zed and Kaylin. Bring them here. It'll take at least a day to get back to the meeting place. Kaylin and Zed may not even be there yet. If Dana is involved with this general, I'm going to need Kaylin to get the truth out of her. I can't leave you alone with her. I can handle Dana. Go on. Hurry. Excuse me. Are any of you acquainted with a friend of mine? A Daharan general. Name of Grix. You're the seeker, aren't you? Yes. You have done so much for the people of the Midlands. Allow me to give you something in return. Compliments of the house. Leaving so soon, Kara? Your merchandise is too delicate for my taste. Of all the sisters of the Aegeal, you're the last I expected to find with Richard. I serve Lord Rawl. You serve anyone with a purse full of coins. You may find this hard to believe, but I have a great deal of affection for Richard. I admire him. But Lord Rawl. You doubt it? Do you truly believe Richard has what it takes to rule the Empire? Is he bold enough? Ruthless enough? For the place of a Mord Sith to question the Lord Rawl. Only to serve him. And if you were still a true Mord Sith, you'd serve him too. Under the right circumstances, I might. But I fear Richard's been compromised. Compromised? By Kaelin. You've seen the way they are together. She wouldn't need to confess him to get him to do her bidding. He'd sacrifice anything for her. His mission. Even you. You don't know the first thing about the Mother Confessor. I know that Kaelin Amnell doesn't care for Mord Sith. She tried to kill me. Twice. She's a woman of honor. She spared my life. Even after she learned I killed her sister. Her loyalties aren't in question. Yours are. Safe journey, Kara. I'll take good care of Richard. If he has so much as a scratch when I get back, you'll be sorry. You don't need to do that. I just want to talk. Don't you think I'm pretty? Yes, very. But my heart is spoken for. <laughs> It's not your heart that I'm interested in. There are so many pleasures to choose from. Madame Denna has instructed me personally. I can even teach you some things this woman of yours may enjoy. I'm sure you're very good at what you do. But I need to know about General Grix. If I tell you, will you help me? Help you how? This is my son, Edrund. He's beautiful. His father, my husband, was killed during the war. Maybe even by the very soldiers who come to this place. There's no other work for women in this province. I only do this so I can feed my son. They say there's honest work to be had in the Netherland Valley, but it's far from here and there are bandits on the roads. I'll make sure you get there safely. Thank the spirits you came here, Seeker. I knew you'd help. Did the General say where he was going before he left? The General never left. His horse is still in the stables. Where is the Seeker? With Lucinda. Madame Denna told us there's going to be a big conclave at the palace tomorrow. She says General Griggs has invited every battalion commander in the province. Did she say why? All I know is we're supposed to keep the commander. That'll be all. Thank you, Lucinda. Yes, madam. Thought I'd get at least an hour. <laughs> you don't fool me, Richard. 
We both know Lucinda isn't woman enough for you. There is someone else here who I believe you would find very enticing. I'm surprised you didn't request her. It's not often I entertain guests personally, but for you, I could make an exception. If it would make the experience more exciting, I could even Let her go! Richard, no. Take her below. No! Madam, please forgive me. I'll do anything you ask. I have a son. You should have thought about him before you talked to the Seeker. I'm ready to begin. Are you certain we should do this? There's very little portion. I don't have soldiers at my beck and call anymore. I need someone to stop that Mordsith from bringing the Confessor and the Wizard back here. As you wish. Ashayala <laughs> Merciful Creator, protect my child! Please. No. Ashwe, Hamner Kam, Denevalu. Nashve, Hamilka, Zenevalus, Nashe Allah, Nakaluk, Everything's all right. I'm a friend. I've summoned your spirit from the underworld. What have you done to me? I've given you another body. Another chance at life. Why? So you can take vengeance on Kara, the Mord Sith who killed you. do we say? Thank you, mistress. Whatever it is you think you're doing, it won't work. You had the Daharan Empire within your grasp, and with it, power beyond reckoning. All you needed to do was close your hand around it. But you didn't. You couldn't. You're weak, Seeker. Undeserving of the title Lord Rawl. I don't have time to sit on Dark and Rawl's throne. I have a mission to complete. I know. The Stone of Tears. <laughs> that compass won't guide you to the stone, only works for me. I'd better hold on to it for you then. I'd hate for it to become damaged. I know all about your scheme, Denna. The Conclave. You're using Grix to get his rivals to come here. You're planning to capture and train them. And use them to rule Dahara. I like how you think, Seeker. But there's a flaw in your plan. Assuming I could break the entire officer corps, that only gives me control of the army. To rule Dahara, one requires the loyalty of the people. 
people. For that, I need a legitimate heir to the Empire. Someone of the raw bloodline. You think you're going to train me? I tried that before and you failed. I don't need to train you to control Dahara. Whatever it is you're planning, you won't succeed. Kara's on her way to get Kaelin and Zed. Unfortunately for you, Kara isn't going to live long enough to deliver her message. Kaelin! Zed? Your sister. My sister is dead. I know it's hard to believe. I don't look like myself, but it is me. My spirit was summoned from the underworld and placed in this body. No. This is a trick. Whoever she is, she did try to confess me. Do you remember the metal lark you found? The hatchling with the broken wing? We brought it into the house. You nursed it until it could fly. The day you set it free, we both cried. Do you remember what you told me? The things you love. The things you love will always come back to you. Look into my eyes. You'll see I'm telling the truth. I pleased you, mistress. Very much so. I have one final task for you. When you've achieved it, you'll have completed your training. That make you happy? Whatever makes you happy, mistress, <laughs> makes me happy. I want you to kill yourself. Mistress. How can I serve you if I'm dead? I'm going to General! Don't give in to her! Do it now. General! Yes, mistress. No! <laughs> You've lost your mind. I trained Grix if you were just planning to kill him. The woman said this Lord Sith had just left, and that she had killed you too. I'm so glad that you're alive. She said once I'd killed the Lord Sith, she'd help me start a new life. Dinner. Richard and I tracked Grix to a brothel she's running. He thinks she's involved with the General somehow. He sent me back here to get you and Zed. Apparently she was supposed to stop me. What better assassin to send after a Mord Sith than a confessor bent on revenge? Her touch would have been deadly to Kara if you hadn't have stopped her. Why did you, Kaelin? This woman and her sisters of the Aegeal came to Valeria, hunted us. I had to drown my own child to keep him from them. They killed his father, and then she killed me. I know. You know? There's so much that I need to tell you, but I don't have any time. If Richard is with Denna... He's in trouble. We need to go now. No. I'm not going anywhere with that monster. Mistress, General Bane has arrived with his battalion. And the rest of the officers? They'll be here soon. I want you and the others to keep them in good spirits until I'm finished here. Of course, mistress. We could have been so good together, Seeker. And in a way, we still can be. The 
pain will be brief, but intense. You remember, don't you? Whatever you're planning, Kaylin will stop you. Hmm. Not this time. Goodbye, Seeker. <gasps> I nearly killed Kara when I learned what she did to you. Why didn't you? Richard, he needs her. She's proven herself a loyal ally. I struggle every day with what she did to you. Part of me still wants vengeance. But I've had to put those feelings aside. She isn't the person she was when she led that mission to Valeria. She's changed. Kaylin! Something's wrong. What is it? My Jeels. The magic, it's not working. There's no pain. How can that be? The Ajeels get their power from the Mordsith's bond with the presiding Lord Hural. Richard, if the bond has been severed, it can only mean one thing. Richard's dead. Wonderful to see you again, my brother. Welcome to the underworld. There is someone else you should say hello to, another new arrival. I believe you're already acquainted. Oh! Grix. The good general was one of my most faithful servants. The chaos he unleashed after my demise sent thousands of souls to this place. I just offered to give him a second life. The chance to continue his ruthless ways as a baneling. But he refused. He says his mistress instructed him to turn down the keeper's generous offer. Do you know why? Because he says that she is going to use magic to place his spirit in your body. For once, our interests are aligned. If what Grix here says is true. Then Denna and this sorcerer of hers have revived an ancient magic capable of stealing any soul from the underworld. <clears throat> the Keeper cannot allow anyone to hold this power. He must have dominion over the dead. You and your Keeper are afraid of her. There isn't much time, Richard. Soon Grix will be summoned, and there isn't anything I can do to stop it. Once his spirit is inside your body, you will be my guest here for eternity. There is only one way to thwart Denna's scheme. Accept my offer. Become a Baneling. Return to your body before it's too late. You're a fool if you think I'm going to kill to serve the Keeper. You have already killed enough people to earn yourself a place of honor here. What difference will a few more make? I won't do the Keeper's bidding. You do the Keeper's bidding every time you take a life. The reason you kill doesn't make a difference. You want to see your beloved Kaelin again, don't you? Kaelin will go on without me. And so will Zed. He'll name a new Seeker. They'll find the Stone of Tears and seal the rift. And you and your master will be trapped in this pit forever. <gasps> well, at least I will have the pleasure of your company. <laughs> See you again. It's time for you to play the role I've trained you for. Are you ready? 
You are going to have the depths of time to reflect on the mistake you just made. Your body may belong to Denina, but your eternal soul belongs to me. More wine, General? General Grix called us here to negotiate a truce, not to cavort with whores. Now where is he? He's right here. The Seeker. I prefer the title. Lord Rahl. Rahl or not, my soldiers will not fall to their knees before a man who slaughtered so many of their comrades. They will if they want to keep their heads. Anyone else? Grix was a thug, but he had the right idea. Swear your allegiance to me, and I will unite your battalions and save Tahara from itself. Warriors of Tahara, hear me. You knew me as the Seeker, but my true name is Richard Rahl, son of Panas Rahl, and rightful heir to the throne of Tahara. Since the death of my brother, chaos has gripped our lands. While your generals send you into battle against each other, dark forces have risen up, threatened your homes, your families. We must not be divided any longer. The enemies of Tahara will He's alive. That's not our Richard. And why is the magic of the Ajeels back? Because the Seeker's heart is beating again. Unlike our confessors, Moral's magic comes from his blood, not his spirit. March with me into the People's Palace. And I promise you. Dahara will be restored to its days of conquest and glory. March with me to the People's Palace. And to victory! <laughs> Master Al guide us. Master Al teach us. Master Al protect us. In your life we try. In your mercy we are sheltered. Well done, my lord. Only the prophets know what dark spirits Den has placed inside Richard. Whoever it is, he's fully in Denna's control. Mord Sith only wear white when they finish breaking someone. How do we get him back? I'm not very familiar with this kind of dark sorcery. But I do know that this Richard will have to die for the true seeker to live again. We'll find the sorcerer who brought back to Nain. Force him to do the same for Richard. Where is the sorcerer? He must still be at the palace. You can get in. They know your face. I'll find him and confess him. I doubt Denner was planning on letting you live if you came back. I'll go with her. How will I explain you to the guards? I'm sure I'm not the first old man they've seen in the company of a pretty young courtesan. And Richard? We can attack an entire legion. We'll track them until they make camp for the night, then slip in and find him. Then what? Kill Lord Raal and simply walk off with his body? You sent for me, mistress? You're no longer to address me as mistress. And from now on, you'll answer only to Richard or Lord Rahl. Do you understand? Of course, Miss... Denna. The men have earned a few hours rest, but I'm not tired. Take off your clothes. What are you doing here? I was told to come back after I'd killed the Mord Sith. She's dead. The woman who revived me said that she would help me start a new life. 
she did ask me to give you something. He's all yours. Command me, confessor. You will restore the seeker to his body. And the woman who belongs to this one. I will do as you say, confessor. But this elixir is very rare. There's only enough left to cast the spell one more time. I can only bring one of you back. Take your hands off him. Kill her. <laughs> Careful, you wouldn't want to get blood of your nice white leather. Guards! <laughs> <laughs> Guards! Follow me. Kalen! You aren't going to kill the man you love. He's not the man I love. No! Drop your weapons! Mistress. Kill them both. Stand down! All of you. What do you think you're doing, Lieutenant? It's no use, General. He's been confessed by me. Would one of you fools run him through? You can try to kill him. But before he breathes his last breath, he'll detonate that whisper. Every living thing within a league of here will be dead. She's bluffing. Kill her. General, you can live to fight another battle if you leave now. Or you can listen to her and throw all of our lives away. Do as I say. I don't take orders from... Mord Sith. Only from Lord Raal. And he's dead. Order the battalion to withdraw. Kara, not now. We came for Richard. May I speak with you? I just want you to know I regret what I did on Valeria. I can't accept your apology. I needed to say it anyway. Nashve. Cypher calm. Richard Valor. Ah! No! Saifaka. Richard Valor. We will see each other again, brother. Akano.
Richard? I didn't think I was going to see you again. Any of you. We should get moving. There's still a lot of guard and soldiers in the area. The compass. It's gone. Jenna. She can't have gone far. Lucinda. I'm glad you're all right. Actually, it's Denis. I'm glad you're with us. But Lucinda, she lost her life so I could have this body. There's only enough magic to bring you back. We should find Denna before the trail goes cold. We will. But first, there's someone else we need to see. Did you as if you were her own? She says you're welcome to stay with her and raise the boys your own. You explained I'm not really her daughter. She said the boy needs a mother. It reminds me of my son. I'm sure Lucinda would be very grateful. I'm not sure how I feel about living another woman's life. Maybe I should go with you, help with your quest. It's too dangerous. I've already lost you twice. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you again. You'll be safer here. No one will know who you are. I've ordered him to stay and protect you, in case anyone does threaten you. When you need me, you know where to find me. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you back, little sister. <sighs> now let's find that compass. <laughs> 